This is Eric Posable with Body Morph Pros. I'm here with NPC heavyweight competitor Jonathan Irizarry. Did I get it right? Yes, sir. Perfect. <laughs> I said it 30 times before I started the camera to make sure that I got it right. So I hate butchering people's last names. So um, you just did uh, collegiate nationals not too long ago. Uh, actually, 2011. Okay, 2011. So that was the last show that you've competed at. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, did you have to requalify for this, or did collegiate nationals give you the yeah, qualification they for two years? Qualified me for two years okay. for this show as well. Um, now, were you a heavyweight there as well? Yes, sir. Okay. So we're back nationals. Uh, so this is really the first big test at, at the national level stage because you're still pretty young at 24 oh, years old. Most definitely. I'm just saying 24 because I'm jealous because I'm, <laughs> I'm 34 and I'm jealous that you're 24 and you're bigger than I was. So um, nationals. Tell me a little bit about what you've done the last couple of years getting ready for this show. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I was actually going to prepare for the USA's last year. Um, things kind of didn't go as well. This one that just passed or the previous? The previous year. Okay. Last year. Um, and it's just, you know, things kind of just faltered, I guess you can say. And uh, and I didn't do it. I mean, I'm, if I'm going to step on stage, I want to make sure that I'm giving, you know, myself the chance to win. Right. So I didn't feel like I was giving myself a chance to win. So I decided to back down, take another year and, and, and wait a little bit longer and actually, you know, and, 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 and kind of maintain myself a little bit better. And right. Yeah, and, and being that you're 24, 23, you were 22 then, you've got a little bit of time, so it wasn't a huge rush. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so not like us not like us old guys, right, Dan? There you go. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rush to get going. So um, did you already weigh in? Or did yes. you, have you, okay, so what did we weigh in at? Uh, weighed in at 222. Okay, so talk to me a little bit about how you look. Um, happy with your conditioning? You feel like this is the best package you could have brought? Oh, yeah. I feel like uh, just a combination of size, roundness, aesthetics, everything. I feel like I've definitely uh, definitely brought it in this, this time. Um, you know, it's a, basically an eight-pound, nine-pound jump from the, from my last show. So to be harder, drier, fuller. And heavier. And heavier, it, that's definitely a plus. So talk to me a little bit about your training style. Are you kind of a high-volume guy, low-volume? Um, what, um, what type of training do you like to employ? It, it, it varies. I've, I've actually been doing the whole mountain dog training with John okay. Meadows. Yeah. And so if anybody of you guys know, you know, kind of how his training style is, it does vary. Uh, yeah. He has, a, he basically. That guy uses, is so smart. Yeah. He uses periodization throughout the entire, uh, throughout the entire program. So, I mean, it, it, it changes throughout each, you know, each phase. Um, but I mean, I love it. You know, it's allowed me to stay injury free and, hmm. uh, and, and just with the detail that he, you know, he entails with writing it up, it, it, it honestly, I tr I've trained myself harder. Right. So I feel like obviously that's. Now, where do you live? Do you live out by John? No, actually, I live in Plano. Plano. Oh, so okay. Uh, so that's how you know. Yeah. This big ugly guy over here. So, do you guys ever train together? No, we haven't trained. Schedule's yeah. yeah. Well, Dan's not very busy, so he's, he, he does nothing he's all not, day. He's not just a, uh, you know. He's just not another pretty <laughs> face. <laughs> so, um, the been kind of talking around a little bit. Um, I've asked a few of the other guys. Kevin Jordan, uh, the rumor is he's bumping down into the heavyweights, yeah, I uh, which I think is going to be pretty interesting. Um, he's kind of he was kind of a, a high touted name, so um, come from the supers of the heavies. Your heavyweight class is going to be pretty stacked. Um, what are your expectations coming out being this is your first big national show? Um, where where would you feel would be a success walking away from this show? Uh, I mean, you know, I feel like I can win. Uh, you know, and, and I love it. And I love I, the attitude. And I'm not saying that you know just. To be some cocky, you know, arrogant guy, but you know, like I said, I, w I wouldn't do the show unless I felt like I didn't give myself every chance to win. But if I place top three, you know, top five, I, 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 all I know is that I brought the best that I can bring. Okay. I worked my hardest, so you know, I fucking killed myself every single day, you know, in order to get here and and look the way I look. So. At that point, that's all that matters to me. I always took the approach of if I was 100% but got fifth and there were four guys better than me, I was happy with it. Exactly. As long as I didn't take fifth because I looked like a piece of shit it, on stage. No, no, exactly. And then it, that's probably the perfect way to put it. I just didn't know how to say it right. Yeah, so we're not very PC here. You yeah. can go ahead and say as long as you don't bash uh, any of the judges, we're okay. Yeah, yeah, no, not at all. Never that. Um, so let's say that you do uh, end up in a top five, um, but just outside that pro card range. Have you kind of thought about a uh, path of what you would do next? I haven't. Um, I've really just put all my f f mental focus on this one show and, and see how I do, you know, here. And, and you know, I'm sure, you know, I'll talk to Hani with Evagen and see exactly where he wants me to, you know, I guess plan on doing another one. Okay. 
Awesome, man. Well, um, obviously, best of luck to you tomorrow. Um, you're a new face to me, but I'm glad I got to meet you, so I'll be cheering for you in the crowd. Appreciate we'll take a look at you. If you do win, uh, we'd love to grab an interview with you just five minutes before some magazine scoops you up and locks you down on us. Most well, definitely, man. <laughs> I'm, I'll always be down. Anyone you want to give a shout-out to or a thanks for helping you get to nationals? Uh, you know, Evagen Nutrition, Hani Rambad, everybody on the team. Uh, my mom, she's here with me. Very been the, my number one supportive person, you know, since I started bodybuilding. And Never missed a show. No, she really has it. At 16 years old, you know, every every show that I've traveled to out out of state, she's came with me. Uh, and you know, all the rest of my family, uh, my friends. Um, awesome, man. Yeah, cool. Well, like I said, best of luck to you tomorrow. Uh, Pre-judging, one o'clock. We'll be there to check you out. We'll be uh, we'll be hollering for you, and then uh, hopefully we'll pull you off stage, and you'll be in that top five class, and we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit. Exactly, awesome. So uh, for Jonathan Irizarry, did I get it again? Yes, sir. Boom. This is Eric Posable with Body Morph Pros, and we'll see you guys back at the show. Jonathan, thanks for stopping by, man. I really appreciate it.